Hello everyone. I feel like I haven't shared a haul with you guys in forever. And so I'm so excited because this one is a massive. Um, I shared, you guys may have seen the shop with me. I went to a completely new location to me, a new store. I actually, thank you very much. I haven't been able to find the comment and thank you personally, but a viewer had mentioned to follow up maybe a kilometer or two up the road from a previous store that I had for, had gone to um, maybe weeks ago and uh, oh my goodness what a hidden treasure it had so many craft items I actually had to really control myself however I did splurge and bought a ton of other things I had never seen at any of my lo local Dollar Trees and I'm pretty lucky to have a few Dollar Trees around me so um, thank you again for that and so let's get started on the haul I think what I'll do is I'll share the shirts that I bought because that was right at the beginning of the videos. Um, I will link the videos up above. I had to break the videos up into two. I was filming, 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 and I got to about 30 minutes or so, and I said, oh my goodness, I can't put an hour long shop with me video. That would just be like, it, it wouldn't upload. It would take probably an entire day to actually get it on the internet. So I broke it up into two, and they're about 20 minutes each video. I hope you enjoyed them. One part is, half the store the other part is the other half so that's how I kind of did it but at the very beginning I shared with you guys some of the shirts that they had and I'm actually been looking for this brand here is the Val Valentino brand uh, in white t-shirts but I haven't had any luck they sold out or even the pool brand is really good quality but this time I found the Valentino um, yellow one it has like a little pocket I just get them for my son they don't shrink which I was actually hoping they would shrink a little bit to be honest isn't that terrible that when you don't want something to shrink um, it it does and then when you want it to shrink it doesn't so these guys are not shrinking on me I've put them in the dryer and I'm the type of person who usually hang dries all our clothes uh, however I've tossed them in the dryer and they haven't shrunk on me so they're a little bit big for him but you know what for $1.25 here in Canada. I can't beat it. So I got him that one there and then I got him this nice bright blue. Almost kind of reminds me of the Blue Jay colors. We are... And this one here is made by Watson's. It comes with a Watson's tag. It says Heron t-shirt. Um, it looks like it's from... I won't even attempt to say any of this. I think that's coming up. Okay, so it looks like it's from overseas. I can't complain for the price, right? So that came on hangers. I was probably most excited to find this mug. I know it's such a simple thing, but I didn't actually think they existed for a while here. And it's got the pretty, really simple, like there's the red, the, the blues, and I just love this color. I didn't get the cereal bowl or the, or the soup bowl. Let me not toss all these things to the side. You know how many times I share hauls with you guys? And I move things around as I'm going because I think that there's an orderly fashion to this. I end up with the video at the end and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's like a pile sitting to the side that I didn't share with you. How many times have I done that? I think every video I do it. Then I'm disappointed because some things are pretty cool. But these guys here are made by the Royal Norfolk. They're just the Dollar Tree brand. It says microwave safe, dishwasher safe, but I'm not planning on using it actually as um, a food dish and thing but this will be a DIY and I am so happy to have found these colors. Aren't, these, aren't the colors gorgeous? I don't know why but I just love them. The other one, the other flowers are, they look so, I don't know, dull and stuff compared to this. This is so vibrant and alive. So anyways, there's that. So I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to work my way and I'm going to try to move the things that I share with you guys this way today. Not that I need any of this stuff, but I do love having these in the bar for when we have company and they are always a hit with the kids. These are the Happy Swing cookies and these are the Cocoa Delight. There's My favorite is the coconut, but I didn't buy any seeds, so I wouldn't be tempted, so I purchased that. And look, I purchased a Hershey's chocolate bar and I put it in the trunk so I wouldn't eat it, but I'm going to keep it here at home and when I have my chocolate craving, I love cookies and cream. What is your favorite chocolate bar? I tried that peanut butter chocolate bar and I thought it was genius and it was really tasty, but it was almost too rich for me, but I love cookies and cream. So there um, were a couple treats and as I had said, I purchased 
one of these for a basket that I put together and I will actually share I know if you guys have a few of you have requested that I share how I made the baskets and what I put in them so I'll put together a little video and share with you guys what I've done but I did put purchase one of these Brookside. So this one here is a chair, like a tart cherry along with a um, pomegranate flavor and it's got like these little crisps in it. And I like that. I like the texture in chocolate for some reason and it's a dark chocolate and Brookside's a really good company. So I'm going to give this a try and let you guys know if I like that chocolate. I purchased another pair of the e.l.f. tweezers. I'm really happy. I put one on my craft cart. I always like having tweezers for picking up little things and these are fantastic. So I thought I'd actually have one in the bathroom for other reasons. And I purchased these, the Sweet Lips by Mariposa. So there are different colors. They're, they look like little bullets almost like, but uh, I don't think, yeah, it's, it's clear. And it smells nice. So there's the there's this turquoise or pinks and all sorts of colors, but I picked that one up. And then I picked up one of these for my daughter. It's called Billy Love Super Shine Lip Gloss. And it's kind of got a shimmer, um, shimmer lip gloss. And then it looks like it's clear on the other side. I'm just gonna take a sip of my coffee. Actually, this is my second coffee of the day. I'm just gonna take. And I normally only have one coffee a day, but for some reason it's sunny today and I'm feeling good and alive. Um, but I actually went through the drive through this morning at McDonald's and once in a while I will go and get myself a medium coffee there. I have never had this happen at McDonald's. I went to pay for my coffee and uh, the cashier says to me, your coffee has been paid for. And so I guess somebody started a pay it forward line and I was part of it and it was super cool because I, at this McDonald's, I've never been part of it. Tim Hortons, yes, it seems to happen more frequently at Tim Hortons, although I've kind of stopped going to Timmy's. Um, I'm more, I like my McDonald's. They give you a free coffee after the seventh and so I fill my little card and stuff. But anyways, I was part of a pay it forward line and it was really cool, so it continued. I wonder how long it'll go for. Do you ever leave a pay it forward line and wonder, how many hours or when did it start or when will it end and hopefully somebody doesn't just crash the line so anyways I continued it on and was super cool this morning to be a part of that bear what are you doing no you can't have any more treats no he's pawing he's pawing at my um kitchen counter because he knows he has special treats there okay so not counter, sorry. He's not tall enough to reach the counter. Sorry, the door, kitchen door, uh, cabinet door, cabinet door. Can I speak today? Oh, and by the way, you know the little leaf trinket tray that leaf? It's a feather. Can we get this straight? <laughs> I keep talking about it, I think in every video, and I refer to it as a leaf, and I know it's a feather, but I bought that beautiful white feather. It's a trinket tray and I'm using it as a coffee spoon holder, but I wanted to clear that up. I know that it's a feather. I don't know why I keep calling it a leaf. Okay, back to Dollar Tree items. The art palette. So six pieces come in here. I already opened this up to use um, and I love it. I think this, this is such a great deal. So rather than having the big round one that sometimes I had at Dollarama, I love these. They're so easy to wash. So they just come like that. There we go. The lighting from the window so they look like little I don't know palette holders I love them but these are great for trinkets too or if you're creating any type of uh, you're working with beads these are perfect and you can easily swoop out of uh, swoop them out or even grab tweezers and pick things out but I love these what a great buy I'm so glad that they came out with these so there was this is made by the job line and it's six and a pack remember how I showed all the different vases in on the shelf there were different patterns this one spoke to me because it has like a pineapple vibe to it and I'm going to transform it and see if it works and then I'll let you guys know if it does or maybe I'll even show you the transformation if it's a fail it's a fail if it's not well then we'll know together but that's my plan to do um, something with this one here thank you Frances from makeup munchies and more I'll link her channel down below she purchased the Pringles tikka masala I absolutely love Indian food I think it's my yeah it's my favorite food it is so tasty and tikka masala is one of my probably preferred flavors for some of the some of the meals as soon as I saw you haul them I had to have these and oh my gosh I will confess 
I'm almost empty. Terrible. So I love them. They're a limited edition. I don't know where to find them ever again, but they were really good. Well, they are really good because I still have a few left. And there's a little bit of a spice, which is nice. So you can control the amount that you have per session or per, what would it be called? Per serving, per serving. As I was walking through the video, I often remind you guys that when you're looking and shopping for certain things, it could be Ziploc bags, it can be little containers, they often have times where they'll have a bonus pack. And this was this is one of those items that definitely come in bonus packs. You can even sometimes find these in a four pack. But right now there's the three, comes with the three sponges and it will auto, right away say bonus. So be very careful and you'll usually see a little line that goes through the number. So I automatically picked up three of these packets because normally I would only get six for this price and this time I'm getting nine. So that was another purchase that I wanted to let you guys know. And it happens with other things. I'll show you here. So for example, with these little containers, I will often use these for scooping pretzels or chips and I put them next to bowls and stuff, like the bigger bowls um, when we have company. But sometimes you'll find that these only come in a 10 pack and then other times they'll come in a 12 pack. But these guys here are sneaky because they're not considered bonus like these ones here. So keep in mind when you're looking at things with the quantity packaging, that you're getting more for your money. So that was one of them. Okay, I'm gonna continue sharing some of the food finds that I grabbed, and then we'll get back to some of the other fun things. I love Mr. Noodles once in a while when I'm just a little bit hungry, but not too hungry, and it's kinda of late at night. I'll boil some water and I'll make a cup of noodles. And I'm gonna give these a try. They have shrimp, I like shrimp. I've never, I don't know if it's, yeah, anyways. These kind of reminded, reminded me of uh, Mr. Noodles. Fiber One, I've never, I had never tried these until now, so I actually had one with my daughter. She kind of threw half of it out, and I didn't eat the whole thing in one sitting. They are, there's one little cheesecake. They are cheesecake bar chocolate flavor. I found them super, super sweet. I love sweet things. I couldn't even finish this whole thing in one sitting. So that's quite um, shocking for me as a sweet tooth. But again, it has 20% of your daily fiber in it and it was a good value because this is a lot more expensive at Walmart, I think. I've never purchased them, so it's the first time. And then I grabbed one of these boxes as well. They are fiber one as well, but they're a delight crum crumble strawberry flavor and we haven't tried them yet, but I'll let you guys know what I think of these. What do you guys think of these? Do you like them? I've purchased some of the Aurora, probably not the best value, but the Bouillon Mix uh, Aurora brand. It's probably around the same price at the grocery store, but I do like using it sometimes when I make a stock. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. So I haven't put on the air conditioning yet. I'm. We're in that stage here where the weather is really warming up and I probably should put the AC on but I opened the windows instead and because I'm filming I had both windows open and things were blowing around here making a draft and Bear keeps going outside I just closed the one windows but now I'm boiling I probably should go open the window again I'm sweating okay back to my home I purchased these two Canada flags it doesn't happen till July but you know what this stuff sells out so fast when it comes out to the dollar stores I don't know why because they normally carry things like year-round in certain areas but specific items just go and this seemed to be a little bit better quality so I grabbed them I'm just gonna stake them in probably the planters out front for Canada Day and have some patriot and be patriotic so there's that I'm gonna have another sip of my hot coffee in my <laughs> but don't they say that sometimes drinking a hot beverage when you're actually hot is better for you than drinking a cold beverage is that a myth I think it is okay Heather thank you so much for the heads up on the Mod Podge being available at the Dollar Tree again I grabbed one of each so there's the water-based sealer glue and finish gloss and matte I love having these on hand in my craft room they sit on my craft cart all the time and I only do buy them at Dollar Tree because 
I could probably buy the big ones at Michael's now with a coupon and I probably should invest on that but it's just something that I wasn't using quite frequently was Mod Podge and suddenly I love it for everything and the value is there. I wanted to ask you guys if you've ever seen these sauces at your stores. Oh, look at that. Made in Canada. I don't know if you can see that. Made in Canada from domestic and imported ingredients. So maybe the US girls won't be seeing this stuff, but it's KDC. There's Mexican cooking sauce, chipotle sauce. And then there was sweet chili dipping sauce. I thought these would be good for having with, uh, what is it called? Spring rolls. Anyways, if anyone's tried it, let me know. I was really, my husband loves watching the Food Network. That's his thing. So he's into business, that's his life. But then suddenly, over the last three years, he loves the Food Network. And Guy Fury is probably one of his favorite uh, guys on the um, on the network. He loves watching when he kind of goes around touring different things. But my husband's like taking on cooking and he's freaking good. And so I, now when I'm like, cook, I don't even bake, he bakes. Cause he's just phenomenal at it. And then when I cook now, I'm like, I used to be the main cook in the house and I still am, but I'm like, oh my gosh, my cooking comes nowhere cl close to his. He's got all the flavors down. He knows what he's doing. You'd think that he'd been doing it for years. So anyways, sometimes I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm cooking and I'm not making a good meal or to his standards. Cause all of a sudden he's raised them. But anyways, Guy Fury, back to the sauce. Has anyone tried this steak sauce for steak, steak sauce 1824? He's labeled it and it's a product from the US. So anyways, I'm looking forward to trying this and that was a really cool find because it's he's a brand, right? I thought I'd grab these for the kids now that the warm weather is out, the children are in and out of the house. These look like they were, I don't know, they reminded me when I was a kid, those little pops that you kind of squeeze out after they're frozen. But they're Italian ices, freeze and serve bars. There's only six in here. We'll give those a try. I also picked up, this was a really neat find. They're the gum brand and they're the healthy kid flossers. And they're so cute because they're the Lala Loopsies. But you know what? It doesn't matter really. Like the shape is really neat. Actually, I'm going to open it and see if they're, I'll put them upstairs in the kids' room. But um, they're good to have in the car too. Like if you ever come across some flossers they like, you just keep them in the car. You can floss in the car anytime. But look, they have a nice handle. They feel sturdy and they have a beautiful smell. Great. Mm, they smell so good. So the kids probably will take to flossing a little bit more if they have something fun. I grabbed some shot cups because you never know when you when you need these. Um, there's 30 in the pack. They're so versatile. You can make all sorts of things with them, but I always like having them on hand. I purchased two of the very popular signs. I really like them and I thought they'd be really cute in my craft room, so they came home with me. They had a beautiful um, gold. It was quite, it was, they had a beautiful gold that was quite, it wasn't yellow. It was more like a champagne gold. It was actually really nice and I almost purchased it, but then I thought, no, the white is more versatile, goes with everything. And then they had silver and they had the white. So those were those. Those were the selections we had available. Okay, so Crafty Share Cupcake, um, Share, she hauled these a couple weeks ago, I think. I can't keep track of time. So when you hauled them, I automatically thought, oh my goodness, I have to try those. They're produced in Canada. I have never seen these at the Dollar Tree. I actually, you know what, to be honest with you, I kind of stopped looking at the the hand, the dish soap because I had such bad luck with um, their brand because it didn't sit at all. And even Sandy from the Thrifty Grandma, she was like, I swear they put food coloring in water and sell it on the shelf, but it had no sun. So I was like, well, I'm not gonna spend my money on Dollar Tree stuff. I'm, I stick to Dawn or, yeah, Dawn is my favorite. And um, I just kind of overlooked that area. But because Cher shared these and they're made in Canada, I thought I'd give them a try. Has anyone tried these? This one's lime, basil, and mandarin. And it just smells so nice. But even if I... Oh, and this one's really nice too. Spiced orange and bergamot. So, bergamot? Yeah. So yeah, they're 650 ml 
in a bottle, which is pretty decent. So I'll give them a try and let you guys know. Maybe, do you guys like um, videos like little reviews so I did pen review videos and stuff but do you like maybe after I try a product to let you know if it was good or not because I do think that those would be helpful in the long run I purchased some drain opener for our shower my husband says that I'm clogging the drain but you can't blame me I have thick hair so it just kind of gets stuck in there and I'm good I pick up my hair and I get rid of it but Anyways, I think I'm clogging the I'm clogging up the bathroom the shower drain a little bit. So I'm gonna put some of that stuff and see if it'll fix it. I purchased one of these. I have no idea if it's any good. It's not brand named. I could have got something at Home Depot, but it's eight in one screwdriver set. I'm constant constantly stealing his stuff from his junk drawer and he's like where'd you put the screwdriver and I'm like oh I don't know where it is and then I'm running to my craft room take it off my desk and bring it. oh here it is so I'm gonna put this in my craft room and I honestly just need it once in a while for little things it's not like I'm doing anything big or a big project I'm not building a house with it so I think this will do the trick for me I this was another package that you should look for when they have the 10 pack. Sometimes they'll have 10s and 8s. I only found 8s this time. I love these for appetizers. When you have company over, these are so practical and handy for little finger foods and stuff. If you have uh, an antipasto or something out, these are so cute. And everyone always asks me where I bought these little clear plates. And I'm like, the Dollar Tree. I'm such an advocate for the Dollar Tree. Like, I don't even, I tell everyone, go buy, go get this at the Dollar Tree. Go get that at the Dollar Tree. I purchased one more of these as I mentioned in the video. I think I'm going to use these for some of my die cuts that I've been cutting out on my Cricut machine. I think the box is just perfect for it and it'll keep everything neat and tidy here. And one last food item was the tuna and sauce. Again, tikka masala. Like I mentioned, I love Indian food so I had to try this. It looks like it's per one container 150 grams, 210 calories. It looks like it's a quick fix too for lunch or something like that. Oh. I also purchased this. I was asking you guys if you had ever seen it or used it. And you know what? This is made in the USA. I have never seen this at any of the other Dollar Trees. I don't know if it's a brand, Tile Plus, or if it's a Dollar Tree item. But I'd never noticed it at any of our local stores. So I thought, well, I'll try it out. It's, I guess, a stain mildew remover. I don't really have that problem. But just in case, you never know. That's... A good one to have maybe on hand or even to just spray around the shower bottoms um, some of you know I'm a huge sticker oh my gosh I didn't buy stickers a sticker collector I can say sticker hoarder I don't know what you would maybe call me but I love stickers from everywhere Michaels Dollar Tree Dollar Amma anywhere and I organize most of them in these sheet protectors and these are the mini ones that fit in the mini binders from the Dollar Tree right now this is a rare, rare item. I cannot find any more. If anyone sees them or if anyone sees them restocked, can you please let me know immediately that they've been put out? Usually they come out around this time of year and I haven't seen them and I'm being so hopeful, especially because the mini binders came out, but no, no luck. Um, so I'm just showing as an example, I haven't opened this one. Actually, it's being mailed to a friend and um, I'm still looking for more because I need to fill up my other bit, uh, my other binders up with them. So, until the next time, everyone. I hope you're all doing well, I, and I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you like these types of videos, please be sure to subscribe to the channel or even click the little bell so that you're notified for when I post. Because I know many of you have been saying you haven't been notified when I am posting to the channel, but. That's all I can say and how I can help because I don't know how YouTube works on the back end some days. I'm missing a lot of your videos too for those who post uh, regularly. I'm having to kind of go onto the channel and look for you guys. But until next time, I hope you're all doing well. Take care and bye for now.